this part of England still has its old wealth. A uh, parterre here, you see. Lord Needpath, whose family tree charts relatives back to 1202, occasionally opens his home, full of faded grandeur, to visitors. Now, this is the great hall. Oh, yeah. Uh, biggest room in the house. Now, how old is this house? This house is probably about 1590, but it, there's been something here since 800. So. You still have uh, gatherings in this room? We have quite a lot, yes. Um, so what is this big table? This is a very traditional English game called shuffleboard or shovelboard. Can we try a couple of these? Whoops. Stop! Ah, bit short. What's this funny looking chair here? This funny looking chair here is um, a Chippendale exercising chair. So it's springy. It's the first sort of sprung furniture and all modern or fairly modern sprung sofas all descend from it. And the theory is you sit on it like that and then you put your arms up on these rails here and then you bounce <laughs> up and down. For about half an hour. Um, every morning, and it's the uh, 18th century equivalent of jogging. It sort of shakes up your liver. What is a lord? What is a lord? It's a, a peer. Um, I have to say, somebody who's entitled to sit in Parliament. Are you a lord? Um, well, I'm not actually a peer, but I'm a son of a peer. Son of a peer, <laughs> OK. It has a rather beautiful bit of furniture um, called a William and Mary seaweed marquetry cabinet, mm -hmm. done in about uh, 1690, very fine, beautiful fretwork. It's as good fretwork as anybody ever did. Um, and in the drawers of it, I keep, among other things, family hair. This is a little packet, you see, mm -hmm. called Papa's hair. My sister gave it me March the 11th, 1771. Well, Papa is the man in that painting around there. And um, that's his hair, I mean. Wow. It says here, Papa's hair cut June the 5th, Thursday, 1755. And you see that's as fresh as if it was cut yesterday. 